is it a bad thing? wanting someone who's a little bit more mysterious or bad. Is this good virtues led astray? Or are some people used to being treated badly in a relationship? Hello everybody. Let's get cozy, make a brew, and guys, get involved in the comments. What's your favorite way to drink tea? So, I want to talk to you guys about dating bad boys instead of going for nice guys, which is something that you probably have heard someone say. This is such a popular narrative in dating to go for a bad boy over a nice boy. Hollywood movies, chick flicks, music. So I wonder if you've ever heard anyone talk about that before. Maybe you've thought like that in the sense of you actually are more drawn to a bad boy than nice boys. So if you don't know what I mean by that, let's just give an example. Love Island, all right? Shout out to all of my friends out there who love a reality TV show. It is not for everyone, but your girl loves a bit of reality TV show once in a while. So Love Island, do these people go into Love Island hoping to meet someone. So there's a bunch of boys, there's a bunch of girls, and then people meet their partners on there. Some people have even got married from the show. Um, but there is always this dynamic, which I find so interesting. Every single year in Love Island, there's a nice boy and a bad boy that goes into the villa. By nice boy, I mean really, really nice, really respectful, really good morals. Um, not typically as good looking as the bad boy, but still handsome. And usually he will just focus on one girl, right? And then you get the bad boy, yeah? Tall, dark, handsome, but doesn't treat the girls very well. Bit cocky, really confident, goes after all the girls, ends up kissing most of the girls in the villa, and all the girls choose him over the nice boy. And the, none of the girls go for the nice boy, and they always end up pretty much leaving the villa. I just think we have probably heard loads of people say before, I won't go for a guy like him because he's too nice. Right, we're gonna look into this more today with you guys and see what it's all about. Is it a bad thing? wanting someone who's a little bit more mysterious or bad. Is this good virtues led astray? Or are some people used to being treated badly in a relationship? Which is a challenging thought. Let's have a little look. So I decided to watch three movies with this dynamic of bad boys and nice boys. The first one, Forrest Gump. The second one, 10 Things I Hate About You. Love these movies. And the third film, Redeeming Love, which is based on the book in the Bible, Hosea, which is incredible. Absolutely amazing book. All right, loves, right. So I've got, I've got my phone here, I've got my notes, and I've got my three reflections from the movies, okay? So the first one I'm gonna talk about is Forrest Gump, okay? Forrest Gump, if you, oh guys, if you haven't seen this movie, just watch it, do bless yourselves. Forrest Gump is an absolute classic. So Forrest, Forrest Gump is a nice boy, okay? And he falls in love with Jenny, right? He falls in love with her at first sight. He never looks at another woman again. He is not interested in anyone else but his Jenny. His Jenny is his absolute treasure, okay? But Jenny doesn't really give him a chance, okay? And Jenny actually had a really, really troubled childhood. She went through a lot, a lot of rubbish in her life. She got very, very hurt. And so I wonder if actually she couldn't she couldn't actually receive the love from Forrest. And and Jenny, she went off the rails. She totally went off the rails. She she, you know, her life was sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and she realised that life isn't sustainable or fulfilling. So she goes back to Forrest because she knows that he will love her because Forrest is marriage material. <laughs> 10 Things I Hate About You. Amazing chick flick, fantastic. It's got Heath Ledger in it, oh my goodness. There's a few storylines in 10 Things I Hate About You and one of the storylines is this lovely boy who is, he's a 
he's a nice boy, okay? He's a nice boy and he has the biggest crush on this girl who is the popular girl. And she is dating a bad boy, right? She's dating, he's actually a bit of a douchebag. And she, it gets to a point where she actually sees him for how he is. And she doesn't really notice this nice boy until he sticks up for himself. I won't, again, I won't spoil the movie, but there's a moment between the nice boy and the popular girl where the nice boy sticks up for himself and the, and the popular girl actually starts to like him. So, do nice boys need to be a little bit more confident in themselves and assertive? If you're a nice boy and you feel like you're constantly getting pied off, for another guy or pied off for a guy that doesn't treat women very well maybe work on your confidence because women love a man who is confident in themselves redeeming love oh my goodness this movie is so beautiful this story is so so beautiful and guys i read the book i think in like four days and I cried multiple times. It's such a beautiful story. And like I said, it's based on Hosea, which is a book in the Bible. So the main character, and his name is Michael, and actually he, he represents Hosea in the Bible. And Hosea represents God, okay? Can you get your hair around it? And he meets a girl called Angel, and she is a prostitute. And in the Bible, this is Goma, and and this is a picture of the world, God's relationship with the world. So Michael falls in love with Angel. He's so in love with her. He will do anything to get the girl. Yeah, he is so protective of her. His love is so pure towards her and he wants to, uh, he just wants to wipe her out basically. And she just can't, she just can't receive his love. She just cannot receive his love. So she constantly, and I guess this is kind of similar actually to Jenny and Forrest. So she constantly pushes him away. She even intentionally make, messes up and makes massive mistakes in order to put him on and push him away and in the story they obviously she so she's falling in love with him very slowly in the story angel actually has to get used to being treated right she has to get used to being loved really well and actually i think it's very very common if you've been in a relationship where there's been a lot of drama a lot of confusion and it's hurt you a lot and then you meet someone who their love is so pure towards you and they just bring goodness to your life. It actually might take a little bit of time to just get used to that and that is okay. Give yourself time to adjust to the rhythms of a healthy relationship because it takes time to renew your mind. And uh, that, that's it guys. So those are my three movies, my three thoughts on bad boys and nice boys. So the moral of the story is give the nice boys a chance. And, ni and if you're a nice boy watching this, be confident in yourself because you're flipping awesome. Yeah, so go for it, mate. I'm cheering you on. So guys, comment down below your thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Salt YouTube channel and stay tuned for lots of more awesome content. Mwah. Bye, take care.